Alpha aimed for a quietly punchy value offering with the Julia Quadrifoglio, which is tasked with doing a reputational reconstruction job for the firm. References to the original Julia of the 1960s will mean little to a good many of today's performance saloon buyers, for whom the 156 GDA would have been the closest that Alpha ever came to offering an alternative to an M3, and it wasn't very close. So it's wise for Alpha UK to have chosen to undercut not only the pricey C63S but also the equivalent M3 competition. It also takes the sting out of the predictably circumspect depreciation forecasts, having paid a bit less up front, private buyers on finance shouldn't actually lose any more on the Julia, over a typical three-year period, than they might have on the more expensive AMG. It's a pity, though, that those taking dealer finance probably won't find the Quadrifoglio as cheap on a monthly PCP deal as some of its better supported rivals. Including the active rear diff, adaptive dampers, and 8-speed auto, the standard equipment level is generous enough to give you things you'd be expected to pay extra for in rivals. The Quadrifoglio comes with a 58-liter fuel tank, which is slightly smaller than some of its rivals offer, but the 35.7 mpg touring economy it returned on our test more than makes up for the shortfall.